Mike, uh, it doesn't seem like winter's really kicked off in full force yet, <laughs> although it's been cool. We haven't had sustained cold come south. We have had some pretty good blasts of cold in the Great Lakes and Northeast. have been below normal for three or four months now as far as temperatures go. But you're right, we haven't had that uh, sustained cold weather pattern, and I don't see it coming over the next week either. Storm system off the southeast coast causing some rain in parts of Georgia and the Carolinas this morning. Cold front across Florida will cause a few showers as well. That storm is going to be moving uh, toward the northeast for a while, and then there are some computer models that kind of have it hugging the coast, and so that it won't be a, a, a big nor'easter like we had last week, but nonetheless, it uh, will probably uh, cause some rain and maybe mountain snows as it heads toward the northeast uh, into the weekend. You can see a weak cool front just causing a few clouds across the Great Lakes into the central Mississippi Valley for uh, late in the day today. Next cold front has very little moisture with it either. Storm system in the southwest at this point looks like it's going to be shunted kind of south originally. Now we'll have to watch that. Maybe it will come farther north. That would, that would be a hopeful thing to bring it farther north and to bring some moisture up into some of those drought areas. But at this point, don't see a lot of it. As we head through the day tomorrow, another dome of high pressure just kind of refreshing the chilly air across the Great Lakes in the northeast as we head into uh, late afternoon hours. Uh, yet another cold front coming into the Pacific Northwest. So basically a progressive pattern with everything moving pretty quickly from west to east. There's a precipitation estimates over the past 24 hours. The majority of it's been over Georgia and South Carolina, a few spots in Florida, a few spots in the northern Rockies, although that's in the form of snow. Adding on the next 24 hours, we'll add a little bit more along the coast of the Carolinas and a little bit more in South Florida. Just a touch of moisture coming into California as well. Uh, most of that snow over the northern Rockies, as you can see over the past 24 hours, adding on the next 24, we don't add a whole lot in the form of the white stuff. Let's check out temperatures in. You can see highs today in the 30s up along the Canadian border through the uh, northeast, 40s for the Great Lakes, 60s by the time you get into uh, the Gulf of Mexico area. So those are chilly readings for this time of the year. Lows tonight going to be pretty cold behind that next cold front with some single digits up along the Canadian border border teens and 20s through the northern uh, Plain states. By Saturday, the jet stream shows the trough off the uh, northeast coast. That'll continue to kind of move that way. You can see the flow pretty fast from west to east. Uh, we do see a, a ridge trying to come in for the middle of next week, by Thanksgiving anyway, for the middle of the country. That's a look across the country. Now let's take a look at some local forecasts. For Cheyenne, Wyoming today, plenty, uh, or I, let's say partly to mostly sunny skies. High temperature around 44 degrees. Peoria, Illinois, a mix of sun and clouds with a high of 52. And finally, Columbia, South Carolina, a little bit of rain around, high around 50.